Happy Monday. Stephanie Springborn for Winds Paradox of Merrill, Wisconsin. I'm at the Matthias building today and um, just catching up on a few things. <laughs> it's a great summer day. But um, I wanted to share with you a couple thoughts I had. Um, I wish everyone joy and safety and good health. Uh, Lord knows we've been through a lot um, as a community, however you define that. But as a community, we've been through quite a bit. I feel quite strongly about the movement, and that shouldn't really be a movement, that Black Lives Matter. Um, I've heard people say, well, all lives matter, blue lives matter, purple lives matter. You could just name them all. And that's all valid, but it also muddies the water. And those, mud those waters have been muddied for too long. I'm not a protester, I'm not a rioter. Um, I work a lot, <laughs> like a lot of people do. But there are universal truths. And if one subscribes to all lives matter, and I get it, I understand, nobody wants to be singled out. But the great Jane Elliott brings up a point that I think really needs to be pushed forward. And that is, it's about power. And I feel strongly, and I used to tell children this all the time, about love and about God's love. And power is the same. As far as resources go, life isn't like pie. Love isn't like pie. God isn't like pie. Very few things are pie except pie meaning that there's always a last piece and we have to fight for that piece. No, no, we don't. Mm -mm. We can share. Simple as that, we can share. So black lives matter. And again, back to the point of universal truths. There is a universal truth here. I'm not out to make a statement about police brutality I am for the police, I'm for all people. Um, I'm especially for kindness and love and what represents, what represents God. But there is one more point that really touches my heart and my soul is that a 46 year old man screamed out he couldn't breathe. I think it's impossible to talk about it without emotion. One more universal truth is he also cried out to his mother. As he was dying, he called out to his mama. Those were his words. That is probably one of the most fundamental universal truths out there. So as a mother, if not anything else, if not as a human being, but as a mother, it's enough. So why the video? <laughs> Not to make a political statement, but mostly to say that tomorrow, for a man who passed away with his face planted on the asphalt, wanting his mama telling people he couldn't breathe and people stood by. I'm going to pause for that funeral and I would encourage everyone to. I think there's a road ahead for our community, however you want to define it. I'm willing to go that road, that road I'm willing to explore that change. I'm willing to start with a peaceful dignity that that life deserved with the hope and the prayer that his children would grow up knowing that his father caused change and that we did not stand silently by. 
that maybe it took something so horrific but we as a world decided to change. Blessings to you. Please join me in pausing. If you decide to pause, do it. Just do it. Watch the funeral on TV, listen to it on the radio. I'm pretty sure that it will be a media event and maybe that's a good thing. I would like to dignify his life pausing mine for nine minutes at least and maybe who knows we could do it every year and maybe some year this will go we'll look back we'll reflect and we'll say thank goodness we listened Lots of love. I'm going to get back to my cleaning.